father used to swim in the baths and I used to lie on his back. And he took me up and down the pool a few times, a few sessions, and then eventually I floated off and I've swam ever since those days. One, I swim here for my health as well as my pleasure. I've had breast cancer and had the lymph nodes done under my arm and I asked the physio at Christie's would I be able to go back to swimming and, she, and each time I went in she gave the consultant a report on how mobile I was and the consultant turned to me and said oh I do wish I could say that all my breast cancer ladies swimming it would make such a difference to the life. What I got back to doing 32 lengths a session three times a week after I did it that way and got back. All here? All in with Inton Baths. Coming to three generations of my family swam at that bath. My grandfather swam there from the day it opened until the day he died, pretty much. I swam there, I learned there, and now my son is swimming and learning there as well. You know, and I'd like to think that pool would still be there for his children. If you close your baths, most of the people would be able to get the swim. I've got rheumatoid arthritis, <coughs> common swimming and with medication if I managed to get out of a wheelchair. But if I didn't have the swimming, I don't think I would have done it. And is it so very important to you that it's that oh, it's here in Withington? Yeah. yeah. We don't we don't want it to be closed. We don't no, want we it. Don't. March through the centre of Withington today, protesting against the proposed closure of its historic swimming pool. <laughs> Wellington Baths is just one of a number of pools across Manchester that could be shut down later this year due to cost cutting. The City Council will hold a decision meeting next month.